Fall calls for some comfy and cozy meals, recipes that are both delicious and healthy. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen to share fall fried rice recipe is Chef Cameron Dangerfield. Chef Cam, welcome What's up, hey. guys? Thank you. It's All so right. pleasure to be here. I love you to come here because you always bring some healthy stuff that actually yes, tastes good. Yes, of course. So today we're going to get into a fall fried rice. Okay. okay. So what I did was I went ahead and put some olive oil in the pan just to get our pan seasoned as we're going to walk you guys through it. Okay. And then a little bit of butter. So butter so, and, and oil. oil. So I like to do a mix because we still want that salt content from that butter, okay. but we don't want to have too much fat um, in the dish because we always want to think about heart health. We want to think about hearty and healthy, so I cut it because we don't want to dismiss it all. Yeah, okay, of course. Yeah. So from there, you know, we just let that kind of simmer up. Mm -hmm. And then most people, you know, use a white rice for their fried rice. I like to do a brown. If you want to grab okay. that for me, okay. we can go right into the and pan. Is that already cooked? Yes, it's okay. already cooked. So it's perfect. Anytime you're doing a fried rice, you now, want to make sure you do day old rice. Day old. Because okay. it kind of dehydrates it a little bit. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what that does is it makes sure that our rice doesn't get mushy as we're cooking it. Got it. And it gives us a better texture in the truth. Okay. So then we're going to get into these beautiful vegetables. So the reason why we're calling it a fall fry rice because we're substituting some of those delicious vegetables that we usually use for some fall fresh ones. So okay. we got some squash. We got some red and green bell peppers. We what kind just, of squash is this? So we have it's a, a fall squash. So we have zucchini and butternut. Okay. And then we have some red and orange bell peppers, which are really delicious because, for one, the brown rice is very good for gut health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we focus on those things as well. And then we have some um, squash as well. I don't see any eggs anywhere. So the reason why we're not doing eggs is because we're working on our cholesterol. So oh, we okay. want to make sure that sometimes in the fall we can substitute some of those things out so we want to still be fit and fit when we get back to the summertime. Uh, okay. I hear you, I hear then you. we got bean sprouts. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't add the onions earlier. Um, sometimes you can do it, but the thing about this is it's a different recipe. If you wanted to saute those in earlier, you definitely could. Okay. okay. So then we'll go with some of that onion as well. I love the bean sprouts. That's Me so too. Good. Yes. Oh, and put bean sprouts things. are superfoods. So I didn't know that. Yes, it's vitamin a super, A. Vitamin A, yeah. um, a lot of minerals. It's mm -hmm. really, really good for lowering cholesterol. Uh -huh. Absolutely delicious. So from there, yeah. and we just want to toss that around. And you know, I always love to bring the facts about the food. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I'm back here in Chicago. Um, teaching at my alma mater at Rich Township High mm -hmm. School because I really want to help educate the kids in the culinary department and let them know that, hey, we can still eat good, but yeah. we can eat healthy as well. And exactly. I love it. The, the sauces you brought give so much flavor yes. to this. So this right here, we're going to follow up with a low sodium soy sauce. Yep. Mm -hmm. that gives that, that's the salt. Yep, that's also the salt that. content. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a house-made hoisin sauce. Oh, yeah. Right over hoisin. the top, yeah. just like that. So you made that hoisin. Can yes. we buy it over the... Uh... You can buy it at any store. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to follow up with some already cooked yeah. chicken, and I like to use chicken thighs. Yeah. Oh, yes. High in protein. Mm -hmm. I leave the skin on as well, all yep. flavor. Absolutely delicious, ladies. I agree. And mm -hmm. it's super juicy. And we're just going to give that a toss. This is so quick. Yeah, yes. this is and most so of quick. the time, you're just going in getting some leftovers. Yep. You got the leftover yep. brown rice. You yep. got the leftover chicken here. And the and reason why I wanted to introduce it to the audience is because we all work. Yeah. Yeah. We all working mm -hmm. it with tide. So when you get off work, you don't want to have to put a whole lot of emphasis on dinner. And things like this are hearty. They're healthy. One and pan. Then also, one pan. Yeah. I love it. And you're not cooking the vegetables so much where they're mushy. No, 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 Keep no, it no. nice and crisp. So what you want to do is make sure that you get just a little bit of cook on them. But you want that color because we don't want to cook all of the nutrients out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're going to lightly season this just with a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people go really crazy on the seasonings, and that's how we oversalt our food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we already yeah. seasoned the hoisin. It has brown sugar. It has ginger. Yeah, it's a nice it has a little notes of my secret ingredient, a little bit of allspice, mm -hmm. just to kind of give it okay. that fall flavoring. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt on top, a little bit of pepper, and ladies, this is absolutely delicious. How y'all okay. been? Oh, oh good God. <laughs> so you're teaching the kids. What about teaching some of these adults yes. out here? Right? Yes. Yes. So the, we need it. Yes, we do. We all do. I know, so, I know. I am here to help the people. I am here to serve the community <laughs> the that has served me. So not only am I teaching the students of Rich Township, I'm teaching the whole city of Chicago. Okay. okay. All, right. all right. And we to be honest, it. ladies, this looks delicious. Yeah, it does. We're going to go it. ahead and plate that up for you. Oh, okay. That was it. That yes. We managed to do it in less than five minutes. Literally. That and is I want amazing. I want you to taste it so you can see how robust those flavors are, lady. And look how beautiful the colors are. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you want to make sure you give a nice rough chop on those veggies because we don't want to lose them in the fried rice. Be oh, careful. Okay. That is definitely hot. Yep. Okay. I see it. 
Can we turn this on? Yes, off, yes, my love. Okay, what kind of projects are you working on now? So right now, my main mm -hmm. project is Rich Township. Mm -hmm. I have just moved back home to lead a culinary program at Rich Township uh, 227. Mm -hmm. So I'll be leading the students, not only teaching them the arts, but how do you create a business out of it? Because, ah. you know, everybody doesn't necessarily want to go to college. Everybody doesn't want to go into trade. Yep. But if you know that you love something and you have someone that speaks your language, someone that looks like you, it can help you decide what you want to do in life. Yeah. Okay. So oh, for me, fantastic. and I'm going to get a little bit of that and try yeah. with you ladies. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. hearty vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, one pan, that's all you need. It's entree, it's a side, it's absolutely delicious. That's wonderful. And I'm with you, the crunchy vegetables really make For me, I, it does mm -hmm. it because it's people don't too. realize that there's flavor and texture. Mm -hmm. yes. So not only do you want to have an experience, I can't stand mushy food. No, I like a little either. bit of crunch. I just love everything to be delicious. Oh, mm. yeah. Wow, chef, that is great. I actually oh, no. this before. Oh, I actually oh. start talking at Cooking with Cam. You can check him out on social media, some more recipes, and catch up with what he's doing with the kids over at Richton Township. Yes, guys. Make sure you, I'm sorry, check See? me out at Cooking <laughs> with Cam, Rich Township 227. You guys will be seeing us all around. Well, I appreciate you guys having me oh, every time in Chicago. Thanks for a nice little mm -hmm. snack in between segments here. Yeah.